The countdown to the DTV transition is on. Just a few weeks left. Our general manager, Bill Anderson, is here to talk with us. So what do people need to know, the main thing, if they're not ready, or even if they do think they're ready? Well, first of all, um, get it in your head that you need to be prepared to scan your, rescan your TV set. Every station in this market will go sometime during the, uh, the 12th, but not everybody's coordinated to do that at the same time. So stations may go make the switch in uh, succession. So scan more than once. Basically, scan on the 12th, scan on the 13th, and you're probably going to have everybody covered. And these are just the people with the conversion box. If you're on cable, it's going to do it for you, right? That's correct. That's okay. correct, yeah. I know New Mexico is really different than other areas because we have so many um, translators. We're so rural, so some people are going to be affected and some may not be. Yes, we're ranked, actually, as the least ready um, television market in all the country. Not something we're particularly uh, proud of, but uh, partially explicable. Um, we're, um, I think we've put it off to the last minute, and I, I guess that's not so unusual, but also the translators uh, in our TV market make it more complicated. Those folks, we're not compelled, stations are not compelled to switch the uh, the translators over on this date, and yet we are. We're All the stations in the market, including KRQ and CASA, we're moving our translators over as quickly as we can. Um, but the key for translated viewers is to get that box. Um, you're going to want it now while the government subsidy provides uh, a coupon for you. Um, so you'll have the box in hand when, uh, when the translators in your viewing area are, uh, actually switch. In some of the market, we've already switched the translators. Where um, If you're in Durango and Farmington and Bayfield are watching us right now on a translator. So. so people will know. I mean, they can put their converter box on their TV, and even if they don't do the transition yet, it won't, no harm done, basically, if they connect to their converter box at this point. Will yes. it still operate regularly without digital analog? That's a good question. You want to make sure that your converter box is a pass-through. Um, and that shouldn't be a problem. You can't really buy a box right now that doesn't have a pass-through. And the only reason that's worth mentioning is that the first generation of boxes didn't have pass-through. So there are a few folks in New Mexico who got a box and then um, uh, are going about to discover that it's not going to pass through the analog signal. So if you're getting a box today, they, they've remedied that problem. All the boxes are sold with pass-through. And if you're in the metro area, though, you don't need that pass-through, though? That's correct. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. More to come, obviously, on this. For more information, you can go to our website always, krqe.com.